Hello everybody, it's Budrich and it's a new episode of Let's Linux and this one we will call it Polybar Setup God damn it uh, Yeah, you get the ID <laughs> Uh, and uh, today we will start uh, uh, our little polybar journey. Um, polybar is a status bar. When you install i3 you get this default status bar. And it's a fine status bar. You can configure this a lot and make uh, this look really cool. But I like to use polybar. And uh, uh, it has uh, more features than this one. And it is very well built. Is uh, they constantly upgrade it and, and maintain it. It's good development. It's a very good uh, setup um, system. It's easy to maintain yet it uh, has many features. Uh, I would not say that it's bloated at all but you can add uh, scripts, your custom uh, blocks and stuff to it and if they are not well written or, or managed in a, in a bad way, then it of course will drain resources. And that's the problem with all bars. It's, uh, uh, you have to know what you're doing so, so, so you don't uh, create stupid endless loops, uh, unnecessary and stuff. Whatever, we will look into all these things uh in this uh, video and, and probably a couple of more videos because uh, this is a... There's a lot of things to cover here uh, and it's not only polybar in this video we will also start using a subscriber script a python script that will listen to i3 events so we can do stuff depending on what happens uh, when it happens without uh, pressing a hotkey or anything it will automatically happen and uh, uh, we will start using that today in this video all right let's start i will start as usual uh, usually with opening sublime and see where we are here i have prepared a little readme file here uh, you can get github uh, or polybar from jagger here is the like he, he started it it's a swedish guy um, github.com jagger with two a's slash polybar uh, install polybar you find instructions there it's uh, it um, it differs a bit depending on your uh, distribution. Then uh, on that this homepage in the readme file you will find, or in the wiki I believe, uh, this this little line here, install uh, uh, blah 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 blah. What that will do is that it will uh, copy this file, which is the uh, default uh, polybar config configuration file into your home folder into dot config slash polybar slash config i have already prepared this uh, but uh, when you run this command then you should see a file called config here it will not be a link like mine is here it will be a, a, a regular file uh, and then you can open it here this is uh, the default configuration file and then to start uh, polybar you just run this command polybar example and the reason you write example here is because that's the name of this uh, example bar in in this config you can change the name of the bar here but then you have to change it here but let's just keep it at the example now so when you have that oops uh, polybar example run that and this bar will pop up at the top of your screen if everything is done correctly. But this is not the preferred way, way to start Polybar by, by launching it like this. If I just hit Control C here in the same terminal it will uh, send the, the kill signal. Um, you should uh, launch it with this with, with some kind of a script because uh, it, it, it's a good idea to, before you launch Polybar, be sure there aren't any uh, previous uh, Polybars running. Because sometimes it can be hidden and it runs in the background and you can get weird errors. So, and this script is also, I think it's also at the wiki, at the uh, github.com Polybar thing here. Um, create this script 
and if you followed in the last video then you should uh, have auto scripts and we can call this poly bar start and I have already prepared this so you, you have this script uh, put this script create just copy this from the wiki uh, put this script in your path and then you should be able to launch it with polybar start it will look just the same now oh wait we do this we open a separate terminal for this because you will understand soon why oh this also uh, i will show you soon what this is we remove this now ignore ignore that <laughs> okay if we run polybar start here then it will run polybar it will run this script which uh, do this problem though is that now we cannot hit control c because uh, it's running in the background so it doesn't exit polybar to exit to kill polybar you have to run this kill all polybar um, there and now it's dead now we have to run it again and uh, i want to add a little change here to this script file because look at this if we would change here for example the background color here now i'm in the polybar config file uh, the background color is set to a gray 222 uh, it's uh, if we would change this to a magenta color like uh, ff 0 ff and save here then we have to kill polybar and uh, run it again and now the background is uh, pink this is uh, a very inconvenient way if you have to reload it like this every time you want to create uh, uh, or every time you want to check uh, a change that you made to the config so what you can do is run polybar with the r flag which means that it will reload polybar every time a, a change is done to the config file it will automatically reload it so check this out now if i restart it here with polybar start and then we change this variable to 222 again now it will automatically if i change it to a red color or we can take a yellow color uh, then it uh, automatically changes and this is very good when you are uh, configuring polybar to have it set up with this r flag okay 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 what i like uh, how i like polybar is uh, or maybe we first now should um, uh, remove this i3 bar yeah let's do that and now i will do something weird here first let's kill polybar and then i will go into the config file and some settings in i3 they will apply every time you you reload the config but some uh, settings uh, and the bar here is one example you have to uh, restart it which is a more uh, serious kind of reloading uh, action so and when i restart uh, it often breaks this i3 fira layout and uh, the thing is you almost never have to use this restart it's only when you change like appearances like uh, uh, the bar and if you change uh, titles and fonts and stuff then you have to do this and then it's I'm sad to say it, 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 it often breaks the layout so the best thing here is to actually quit every window here now and then I will reload the config now and then the bar should disappear whoops wrong key there reloaded <clears throat> and if I open up sublime here now it's 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 good um, okay but now we don't have any bar whatsoever uh, we want uh, a polybar so let's run our polybar start here and i i like to set it up to have polybar overlaying and not being bigger than the title bar here so polybar actually kind of floats over the title bar of the top window that means that we in, instead of now what do we have here maybe 35 pixels or, or 40 pixels almost that's just waste of space if we could put this on top of the title bar then we would save 
at least the 20 pixels uh, that i3 bar took we will get we will actually get more screen space by doing this than uh, using i3 bar and i'm not sure you can do this with i3 bar uh, but maybe you can and to achieve this uh, it's very very easy you just comment uh, uh, or remove a comment here uh, polybar config it uses semicolon for comments so if you remove a semicolon then uh, uh, that setting will apply and if you add a semicolon that setting will be ignored and you should activate this override redirect equals true if I save here now now polybar floats over uh, uh, but it, you can see it's not perfectly aligned uh, first, th first thing we could change is this. Uh, invis there's an invisible four pixel wide border here, and it's invisible because of this color value here. This is actually black zero 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 zero. But the two first digits here is uh, the alpha of, of of this color. So if we would set this to ninety, then it will be almost completely black but it yeah it almost looks like a shadow just wanted you to show that that you can set the alpha channel like this and that's really cool uh, and you can make cool um, customizations with that but here I set the border size to zero which means it will force uh, polybar up to the edges of the screen uh, it's hard to see probably but there are rounded corners I don't want that so I changed this radius here to zero and finally changed the height of polybar to 20 and there we have it a very minimal bar that doesn't consume any extra space at all um, but there is a problem with this setup if you would run something in full screen while uh, having this uh, it uh, uh, the bar will will persist and that is very annoying so if i run here some video let's take uh, animation in the terminal you see the bar persists as uh, uh, over over the full screen window and you have to toggle it uh, manually and that is really annoying. Um, with the latest version of Polybar, and I'm really happy with this uh, 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 addition, you can send messages to Polybar by using Polybar-MSG, almost like an i3 with i3-MSG, and then CMD, and then toggle. But then it tells us no active IPC channels. So we have to, let's exit this MPV window, uh, I have written it down here. We have to enable this IPC channel and it's this setting. Add that to your bar section here in, in uh, Polybar. We can put it here uh, at the override redirect, it doesn't matter, but as long as it is in this uh, section here, the bar section. And a new section st starts at every uh, square brackets like this so these are all uh, belong to the same section uh, enable IPC true save and now we can send messages if I send this toggle message to polybar it will uh, toggle it it will uh, toggle the visibility you could bind this it's a good idea to bind this to a hotkey in i3 because sometimes you just want to hide the bar toggle it quickly maybe you really want to see the title see some tabs or whatever it can be really really good to have this uh, uh, bound to a, a, a key binding but most of the time you will be happy with having the bar visible uh, but still even if we have it to a hotkey it's annoying to, to do that every time you launch a video so what we need is some way to automatically, every time a window goes into full screen, we should, um, eh, 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 we, want, uh, we want the bar to, to hide. And when a window is not full screened, we want to show the window. <clears throat> so to do that, uh, I have prepared a file here. Uh, i3 listen.py 
this is a python script and i have already prepared it here with, with the uh, commands that we need this is as i said a, a listener script a python script that's run this runs in the background all the time and it listens for uh, events from i3 any kind of events you can have it uh, listen to um, now it listens to window events, you can also listen to key events or, or workspace events and all kinds of stuff. We will look into, we will, we will continue build on this. But now we are interested in full screen mode. And what this, uh, uh, how this works now is any window event. And that means even if it has nothing to do with full screen, just a focus, if a window destroy is created or destroyed, it will, uh, it, every time it will check if it is full screen or not and either hide or show the bar. Uh, and this is because we could also have a, a, a check here to just uh, every time a window is set to be full screen or when it returns from full screen. But the problem is that you can have a, a, a video. Oh, let's not take this. Um, uh, let's take that animation in the terminal. Because sometimes you have a window full screen and you are on another uh, workspace. If I go to workspace one here then it will not register that uh, that uh, action and that's why i have it set to 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 do this check all the time on every window event uh, put this i3 listen.py in your path and if you watched the last video about auto script you should have created a scripts folder you can put it there uh, i3 listen.py and now we can run this uh, script. Uh, and I, I should say also that I uh, am not so so good at Python. I, I know some, but I, I'm much better in uh, and, uh, and comfortable in, in Bash. So this can probably be much made much more uh, beautiful but it works and we will improve i will improve in python and i will change the script and i will sh uh, show you wh when i make improvements but what i have seen this this doesn't affect the performance on my computer or system at all actually but you can see here now every time i activate the window uh, it it sends this uh, uh, show polybar and if we would uh, open a video now, should have kept that video window. Uh, Bitcoin banking, what's that? Full screen, bar heights, normal screen, bar shows, full screen. And you see it's super, super quick. You don't. It doesn't feel like you're running a script. It feels like a native uh, feature. Uh, sorry for the language in that video, but uh, that's angry foreigner for you. Um, so, and this is basically the only drawback with having the the title or the the status bar overlaying the title bar. Uh, well, of course, this, the other thing is that you can see the title, but that's. We will take care of that in the next video. We will create a, a, a module in Polybar, a, a custom module that will display the title of the active window. Uh, so, and when we have done so, uh, this full screen watcher and uh, displaying the title, then this is a perfect setup in my opinion because it it's the most space efficient way to have a status bar, because otherwise, it just wastes space. And if you are a tiling window manager user, then you like to make as much of your screen as possible. But we take that in the next video, how to set up a title here. Uh, I think there will be at least two more polybar videos. But we'll see. I see you in the next video when we will add the title bar here uh, and it will be a very cool title bar not your normal uh, window title because it yeah you'll see it will be cool thank you for watching I see you ah. <laughs>